Hello everyone, this is Jig, and welcome to another Buy Request Friday! Woo! This week's request is... Make a Auto Potion Room by Mr. Nothing Sucks. Now this one got 12 likes, and it was actually in big competition with another one, but I'm glad this one won because now I don't have to install some mods, yay! Now obviously potions can never actually automatically be made, but here we have the awesome and amazing potion room. Uh, so let's say we want to make a regeneration potion that has longer duration than normal. And let's go. Press the button. We see stuff fly out of everywhere. And then we have all the ingredients to make that potion. So let's start this brewing while I talk a bit about what we have here. Mmm, brewing potions. And just to show that it works with other stuff, let's say, let's have a swiftness that's stronger than normal. And let's give us all of those. Wee. I don't know why I really enjoy watching the potions and stuff fly out of the wall. Uh, okay, let's fill those up. And we'll put these in here. So basically, whatever you do, whatever you press, it will change what you want to do here. So now we have the awkward potion. We add our, I don't remember which one this was for, ghast here, probably. Oh, this is regeneration, so. So it actually shoots out the items that you need for these potions, depending on what button you press. So we want a healing potion, duration, whatever, and it will shoot out all the items you need. Let's just say you want, you have a potion. Is one of these done yet? Okay, now we have our regeneration potion. Oh, I was going to increase the length, wasn't I? Okay, let's do that. We'll put that one in there. Yeah, duration. Okay, so we're increasing the length of our duration, uh, the length of our regeneration potion. And we'll do that one too. Let's just say... I don't want the length to be longer anymore, and I want to increase the potency. So you press our potency button, and we want to give the modifier only. And then it will shoot out just the modifier. So now I have two, because I had one before. So we'll put one in there. Let's check it out. Regeneration is longer than normal. Here's our regular speed. So we're going to increase that too. Basically, you can do whatever you want in here. Uh, you can make any combination of potions using the basic rules, increase duration, potency. This one, because of the way potions work, is a little different. This one corrupts the effects. Uh, so this one makes poison and slowness and that sort of thing. Um, it doesn't really work very well because it's not consistent with the other two. Uh, and if you want to make just a standard potion, you can do that too. It always shoots out three flasks. And let's have a look at the background. Oh yeah, you can do uh, just the ingredient only. So let's say if you want to do just the basic potion bottle, it'll do that as well. So let's just do all those. I don't know why I find such great enjoyment of watching the stuff fly out. Uh, so we just got the basic potion ingredients and let's make a poison. Because we already have the bottles. Let's just give the ingredient. Pop. Oh, that was a modifier. We need to give the effect. There we go. Awesome. Let's uh let's get these brewing. And then we'll have a look at outside. How are we doing here? Yep, awesome. Okay, anyway. Um let's say you're running low on supplies and you press a button and nothing comes out. You go up into the handy dandy vent and you can see here empty glass bottles. Nether wart, and you can just refill these. So you no longer have to actually remember any recipes. As long as everything is where it needs to be, and you just press the appropriate button, then that potion will be made for you. Now let's have a look outside and see how this works. Uh, ignore this. <laughs> uh, it's a little bit messy, and basically what this does, each of these buttons is connected to a different area. Uh, this one obviously only gives the potion bottles, so it goes down here and activates this. This is basically a clock to shoot this 
to shoot out three times. Uh, that's for the flasks and stuff. Um, this wiring is messy, and I'm sorry. And <laughs> here we have the other other set of wiring. This is really cool, and I'm gonna show you how this works a little later. Uh, because basically I start off, you can see on the red, this is the start of my design and eventually I work my way down the line and I start making it a lot more efficient uh, in the spacing just because I learn a new thing. So I think this is actually really cool because it shows me, you know, a bit about how my brain works uh, when I'm compacting circuits and stuff. And this one actually uses a very similar design. See these blocks here? They go up when you press a button. Here we have a basic mock-up of this design. Uh, here is the basic switching section. I made a tutorial on this before, so I'll put a link in the description or uh, in the video probably right now. You'll be able to click somewhere. Uh, that goes from these. These are the outputs, and all of this stuff is the rest. So basically, you can switch between these buttons, no problem, and stuff happens to make it stay on that. These outputs then go into these sticky pistons. Here we have a bunch of cloth blocks and it goes into each one and the block moves up according to which one it is. So right now the black one is up. Now when you press the button to choose a potion it does this basically. We sends a signal all the way down to the back end here and it shoots redstone into all of these blocks. Now because this is the only one that's up, this is the only one that will redstone will continue through, up here, through here, and into the dispenser. So if we press the button now, we can see that we'll get a black piece of wool. Pop. Now every time we change the button, let's say we go white, you can see there, the piston went up, and now when we press the button again, we'll get a white piece of wool. Now, I guess these are kind of working like AND switches. So, if this button is on and this redstone is powered, then give, you know, a block. So, that's pretty much the design. Uh, of course, I'm going to put links in the description on downloading the schematic, as I am for all the episodes of BioQuest Friday this week. So, check that out if you want to just play around with it yourself or you could just build one yourself. This is basically the whole thing. I mean, I'm not hiding any secret mechanisms here, and this is just not there, but here and there, although these versions are a lot more messy, like I said, they um, evolve over time. Anyway, that's it for this week. Make sure you leave a request below, and we'll see the top liked request for next week. We'll see what it is. Make sure you like the comments that you like and down the ones you don't like. Um, and don't forget to like this video, of course. Thanks for watching. Bye.